We have landed an Airdrie. I am here for the second time this season. Before, if you've not already seen it, I was here for a cup final. This time again, it's another cup final, but it's a playoff final. Airdrie versus Queen's Park. What a game we have on our cases today. So today's match is the second leg of two legs. The first leg finished one each between the pair, uh, so it's all to play for today. It's one each get into the game, so it's basically still level. But how did they get here? So it's a playoff final today, um, of the second leg. So whoever wins today goes through, and will be promoted. As I will be sitting in with the Airdrie fans today, who are the home side. Uh, as you'll know, I always sit in with the home side. I've not sat in with away, any away sides yet. That's yet to change, I don't know if I will change that, but I like to sit on the home side and see the match day experience. Yes, so back on the topic, in the semi-final for Airdrie, this is a comeback you will never see. Uh, they looked down and out, they were 3-1 down at home, and the game looked over, um, and they managed to come back to make it 3 each, took it to extra time, and then on aggregate they ended up winning 6-5, which is remarkable. Um, a comeback you will never see. So. That got Airdrie into the final, absolute scenes last week. Queen's Park, a bit of a different one. So they played played Dunfermline, who actually are from the Championship. And Queen's Park actually relegated Dunfermline back down to League One again. After to many, that were, Dunfermline were actually favourites to win the Championship at the start of the season. So Dunfermline are relegated and Queen's Park now have the chance to get promotion to the Championship.
So it's currently half time here. Airdrie one, Queen's Park one. Uh, not had a lot to shout about to be honest. Airdrie haven't turned up. Um, yeah, what a free kick. Unbelievable goal to make it 1-0. But since then, Queen's Park just dominated to be honest with you. Looking forward to the second half. Both teams' biggest second halves in the last in the last ten years, to be honest with you. Um, massive game. Airdrie have brought a massive support, so the next 45 minutes is going to be massive. Airdrie do have their keeper to th thank. Two incredible saves, to be honest with you. Um, but yeah, second half is going to be bouncing, so I'm looking forward to it. I will see you in the second half. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
We're back. The game has finished. Commiserations to Airdrie. Um, very well fought. It was a great game. But in the end, Queen's Park have done it. They have won promotion to the Scottish Championship for the first time since 1980. Wow. That's what? 40 years, if my mathematics does do right. Um, well done, Queen's Park. Very strong in defence. Airdrie just couldn't find a way through it, apart from the wonderful free kick you've seen, obviously. But, yeah, Queen's Park, I thought, thoroughly, thoroughly deserved that win today. So, well done. Congratulations, Queen's Park fans, and commiserations, Airdrie. Airdrie, I'm definitely sure your time will come. You're an up-and-coming team. Uh, the team looks very strong. I've seen you a couple of times this season. And, yeah, you're under the right path under Ian Murray. Just give it time and be patient. Next season, definitely strong contenders. So, you know how we do Five factors for a review. How was the Airdrie match day experience? Okay, so first factor we have is the football today. How was the football? Right, we knew it was going to be high tempo, high intensity. Both teams, both clubs, biggest game in 10 years. So, it was all to play for today. Um, apart from the free kick for Airdrie, they never showed enough today. Yeah, they didn't deserve to win it, so I was quite disappointed. Queen's Park, as I've already said, defensively brilliant. And they held out and they countered and they got their goals in the end. So, yeah, I am going to give football an se a 7.5 out of 10. Yeah, I was going to give it an 8, but thinking about it now, 7.5 out of 10. Second, we have Price. So, once again, playoff final. Well done, Erdry. Um, It was a concession ticket I did get this time, so maybe a wee bit different from the... All adults getting it in for a tenner. But yes, once again, they get in for a tenner. So, great value for a playoff final, do you know? Especially a, a game that means so much and so many fans are attendance. And it does get the numbers up. Today, there was at least 3,000 Airdrie fans there. So, that's massive. That's not a crowd that Airdrie usually get. So, well done, Airdrie. Um, to rate... The £10 price getting in today, I'm going to give it the same as I did for Edinburgh City. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. Halfway there, we are on to atmosphere. So, today, massive game. A lot of fans in their numbers. Did they turn up? That was the question. Yes, they did turn up. The place was bouncing when I first went in. Very surprised, to be honest with you. But well done, Airdrie. It was good. Um... Unfortunately, the energy did die down after Queen's Park scored the goal, but you are expecting that. Uh, got to about half time, wasn't the best. A bit of negativity from the Airdrie fans. Uh, but after that, yeah, second half, they, they lifted the team. They kept going through the second half. Airdrie could have had a goal, but I don't think they really deserved it. They did pressure, uh, but Queen's Park were good. Uh, and they kept, they kept up, kept going, kept going. Extra time, they were still at it. Very, very loud indeed. And then Queen's Park got the penalty and it changed the game. So, yeah. Atmosphere, I am going to give that an 8 out of 10. Second last, we have food. So, if you've already watched my vlogs, if you know my channel, you'll know I've already been at Airdrie Stadium. I had a wee look at the menu and I noticed everything was the exact same as it was when I was at the Queen of the South versus Rafe Rovers Challenge Cup final. So, I've already done a food food review. I felt there was no point in me doing another food review on the exact same stuff, do you know? So, yeah, if you've not already seen it, go and check that out. Last place, uh, I was thinking I was going to do the exact same, just say I've already been at the stadium, but that wasn't for an energy game, that was for the cup final, so things would be totally different. Things weren't really different, things were kind of the same to be honest, just different, more Airdrie banners etc, more advertising, but yeah, nothing special, a basic box stadium, I didn't, don't really enjoy the stadiums to be honest with you, there's no terracing, there's no culture, there's no history in the stadium, just a basic box stadium, so it doesn't really help with the atmosphere. My idea of a perfect stadium would be Livingston's, uh, the way it's rounded instead of boxed off, I like Livingston's stadium, I think it's perfect for the size of the club that most Scottish clubs are, so yeah. Facilities, I'm going to give it a 7.5 out of 10. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed that video again today. If you enjoyed it, click the like button. That's all you need to do. If you've not already, click that subscription button, turn the bell notifications on so you don't miss my next video because I'm going to be uploading very soon, at least twice a week from now on, so you don't want to miss out. 
click that subscription button and click the bell. Thank you for joining me today. If you want to see me anywhere else, you know the drill. Drop it in the comments down below. Until then, it's a goodbye from me.